Hey everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at um, another retro collection figure. This one is going to be the child, or Grogu as we now know him named. Um, and one of the more difficult to find in this line, I am very slowly but surely finishing this out. I think I'm just missing the Stormtrooper, an IG-11, and then I'm good to go, so uh, excited about that. But yep, this is one of the ones that just, <clears throat> just due to the fact that it's Grogu, is not as easy to find. So there's been kind of three in this wave with uh, Kara doing the Mandalorian and then the child. Um, so I have at least acquired the harder to find one, which is really good. Um, I found this guy at Toy Base 10. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Um, the others in the wave include the ones I mentioned, IG-11, Kewl, uh, Moff Gideon, and Grief Karga. Yep, so, uh, pretty neat. So, I guess, is there a remnant Stormtrooper? I think there is. I think he's included in something like a board game or something, I thought. Maybe not. I'll have to double check. But anyways, um, you can see that it's got the retro collection packaging with the wear on the edges and then the big bright orange sticker. Um, this one is a little bit different because it comes with quite a few accessories. They figured, I guess, that you could just package a Grogu in there and call it good. You had to give it something to make it more valuable. So we have an actual pram, um, and it looks like a frog as well. And I do want to point out, I don't have the vintage collection version of this, but um, this Baby Yoda is actually way bigger than the original 3 and 3 quarter inch uh, vintage collection version. Uh, I, th I guess that's something that they did retro. They made a choice. Since it's more retro stylized, it's going to be a little bit bigger. Um, but just kind of an interesting note. But let's go ahead and open them up, and we'll take a closer look. All right, so here's little Grogu out of the package. Um, before we get on to him, though, I do want to talk about his accessories because he has quite a few. Um, he does come with this tiny little green frog which is pretty cool. It doesn't have really any painted detail, it's just got sculpting detail, a single eye and a bumpy back, um, but a nice little accessory. Uh, we'll see if he can hold it later on. And the other main thing that we get is the whole pram, and it comes with a base and a stand, so you get kind of a sandy base here. You get, this literally looks like a Lego Technic pin. I almost wonder if you could substitute a Lego Technic pin in here, uh, but it fits in there like that, and then it fits on the pram just like that, so it kind of gives an illusion of floating, um, and I assume this opens, yeah, you can remove the hood, the little top part here, and little Yoda can sit in it, or Baby Grogu, rather. Uh, so, pretty cool, and you can close it back up, so it makes a nice little display item. I do like that. That's a pretty cool accessory to include, um, and it even has a little bit of painting detail on the inside, some black, where there's also some gray, so... It's rather bulky, but I really like that it included a pram. That's nice. You don't get that in a lot of items uh, towards the Grogu just because it's expensive to make a pram for him. So here is the figure. He is obviously very small. Um, I believe he's probably the same scale as the Black Series uh, Baby Yoda. I would not be surprised. This one might be just maybe a hair bigger, uh, but he definitely seems in scale to that. Um, and then he's just got a more plain robe, the coloring is not as realistic, and he's got simplified features, so they're not really going for a realism look here, which is easier probably for the Hasbro team. They don't get criticized as much because there's not real real features. In terms of the articulation, I do like it better than the Black Series Baby Yoda, simply for the fact that this would be a good time to have rotating arms instead of ball hinged arms, because those little ball hinged arms on the Black Series just come off. They just pop right off, so this one has little rotatable arms, and then a rotatable head. And it's all pretty sturdy. Nothing's going to be popping off. In terms of the frog, he can't really hold it, I don't think. Um, just see if I can fit, like... Yeah, he can, actually. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. You can put the tiny frog hand in Grogu's teeny tiny hand, and it will hold. That's really funny. I was not prepared for that. Um, and then you can put him inside the pram, which I'm just doing off camera for a second. Uh, don't know if I can manage to get him to hold on to the frog at the same time, but he can go in the pram and you can display him that way. I do like this aspect because if you're going to display him with the other retro figures, since he can't be held by anybody really, it's really nice that he's going to be a little bit taller, a little bit more eye level to the other figures, so that's definitely appreciated. Um, I do like that and it's pretty cool, and I like that you can close it up, you can throw everything together and close it up in the pram. Uh, so I think that's pretty cool overall, actually. Uh, super neat. So... Anyways, that's basically it. Pretty simple review. They're based on the, you know, vintage what-if, uh, basically. Uh, we've gotten the um, A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back. Return of the Jedi will probably be next year. 
Um, oh, and I also forgot to mention he does have tiny feet in the peg hole. And then on the back of his head, or on the back of his body, it says 2021 LFL Vietnam. So, pretty cool, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.